Welcome back guys. Today we are talking about hydro locking. Hydro locking means water gets inside your engine and well depends what speed you go in it might damage your engine completely. In this case I already swapped the engines over. This is the original engine which being hydro locked damaged the piston, damaged the probably the crank, but damaged the conrod, the weakest point. If you look at like that, the thinnest part. So um, we can strip this engine down and inspect what exactly happens so you get a clear image why you shouldn't drive to, through the deep puddles. And you're also supposed to know how high is your intake. I mean, it's inspect where you're going, how deep is the... I mean, if you're not sure, don't go. In this case, we got air intake about here. So the pipe is inside there and it goes around inside the intake there. So if let's say, um, for example, um, the wheel sits about that high. So if the puddle sits, let's say, I don't know, 40, about half meter, that's it. So obviously a half, half meter is about there. So especially on a higher speed, you're sucking more air into it, you drive through, and obviously water gets inside your engine. So yeah, let's strip this one down and you'll get a, you'll get a clear view why you shouldn't do that. So this is what happens when you go through the deep puddle. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Snapped Conrad. So the clear evidence obviously is here. <laughs> there shouldn't be a hole in the sump, but anyway. So what I'm assuming is, because uh, engine was rotating at high speed, uh, hydro lock, one of the, I don't know, number five or eight, number one of the pistons, and um, it snapped the piston, but the crankshaft still was rotating and uh, end of the piston smack the sum and made a hole in it but we'll strip it and just just gonna make sure what exactly happened So we took the sump off and no surprise the conrod is snapped but I only can see one conrod being snapped that's the cylinder number uh, which one would that, would that would be number eight and um, yeah because obviously crankshaft we been spinning at high speed it snapped the conrod it caught the block made a hole there made a hole in the sump so that's it it's scrapped we're gonna take the uh, bank two head off and uh, take the piston off take this half of the conrod off and I'll try to explain uh, what exactly how it happened you know so let's let's do it So got the piston and the conrod out and I can clearly tell my theory was correct. So the water obviously went through the intake valves, got inside the bore and valves went closed 
the piston will went up and the weakest point just literally snapped. If you look at it like that, it was snapped and the crankshaft was keep was sort of still turning on that end, smacked the smacked the block, uh, smacked the block, made the hole there, and made the hole in the uh, sump, and that's it basically. It, engine is dead. Game over.